Shameless plug. What is? You didn't see nothing. What's up? Welcome to the Cone Zone. I am Seahawks of Cones. <laughs> we have a lot to go over tonight, so let's get to it. Last year, I ran with a monologue involving some miscellaneous bitches that I desperately needed to get off my chest. Tonight, I'm bringing three more in that I want to talk about. <laughs> For, forgive me, but I have to throw my two cents in here. First off, I know this topic has been brought up numerous times on this show, but I feel as though panhandling in a city is out of control. I would love to sit at just one red light without being stared at by some lazy, psychotic piece of shit holding a sign. Yes. Is that too much to ask? No. I will never give out a dime. I don't care how funny or sympathetic these signs are. For example, there's this one. Quote, Christian father of five, broke, hungry, and homeless. Please help in Jesus' name, God bless, end quote. Start eating your kids. Let me dislodge the lump in my throat by asking, if your God is so great, then why the fuck are you homeless? All right? <laughs> <laughs> Go walk with the shepherds and stay the hell off of 6th and Broadway. All right? <laughs> or how about this nugget of advice? Stop banging every chain-smoking, toothless skank you meet at the bowling alley. <laughs> Try keeping your tiny trouser mouse in his cage for once. Okay, Sean Kemp? <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, I thought that was funny. He's got a job, though. <laughs> Another frequent gem along our city streets, quote, homeless vet with family, end quote. Well, Colonel Clink, I guess it sucks to be you. <laughs> I'll go put some of that military training to use and fry up some spuds at the Golden Arches. Okay, G.I. Joe? <laughs> My favorite sign of all time was near 14th and Colorado Boulevard that read, quote, leaving abusive husband, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you thought you got your ass kicked before? <laughs> 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 you thought you got your ass kicked before? Wait till Ike Turner finds out that you broadcast it to all eastbound motors that you're married to a dick. <laughs> I'm guessing for your next birthday you'll, you'll receive a nice brick in the face before he hangs you on the wall like a rare Picasso. <laughs> and what's with the hobos and their quote 25 cents helps rap? Where the hell do they plan on going? The video arcade? Or are they heading over to Smiley's laundromat to watch the dryers go round and round? <laughs> this topic is tired. I'm going to put an end to it right now. I know this is going to sound harsh, but it needs to be said as nobody else has the sack to say it. This goes not only for all the cardboard carrying transients, but this goes out to everybody watching me right now, i.e. drug dealers, death row inmates, and everybody who gets up at noon, hits the hooch and or reefer, then walks around all day looking for fights and teenage sperm collecting tramps to shit out their rug rats. <laughs> okay, good night. If you contribute nothing to society, then you need to be put to sleep like a rabid baby killing pit bull. No questions asked. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I'm all for gassing the worthless. Call me Hitler all you want. And can we make it a law that if a bum illegally walks in front of our car, we have the right to make speed bumps out of their torso? Hell, we do it for dumb animals that run in front of our cars. Do bums to deserve the same treatment. The only difference, we should slam on the brakes for animals. <laughs> yeah. before, I <laughs> before I get off my soapbox, one more thing. Take your wheelchair, crutches, and fake limp, hey. and with a quarter I'm not going to give you, call somebody who cares, OK? <laughs> Moving along. I have some bad news to share. In case you haven't heard, retail outlet Kmart will be closing 326 stores across the country here in the year 2003. Shit. <laughs> I feel your pain. Uh, 
boy, I don't know if I can shop anywhere else if I can't ex experience the hoochie ignoring her four carts full of kids as they wail like sirens and rub their poop on each other like primates at the zoo. <laughs> I'm going to lose my daily entertainment of watching two cowboy hat sporting border jumpers, <laughs> new American <laughs> citizens, fighting over the last copy of Teen People Espanol. <laughs> Personally, I'm going to miss the employees like Christina, the 18-year-old hickey riddled, going through the motions <laughs> cashier, who takes 10 minutes deciding on what to do with actual green paper money as she stares at it like a six-party check from the Bank of Yugoslavia. <laughs> Yeah, like I'll ever get the correct change back anyway, so screw it. Here's a question. Are the big, super, mega Kmarts going to get whacked also? What's the deal with these super Ks? Great, you can buy a Fruity Pebbles an aisle over from the grandma panties that have been tried on by every countless yeast infected. I can't see the belly. I can't. I can't see the belly button through the bush chicks on their periods. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. One of my favorite pastimes is seeing how far I can punt little Juan up the aisle as he sits on the floor, <laughs> as he sits on the floor eating peanut butter that he pulled off the shelf with his bare hands as his mother is nowhere to be found. I'm going to miss that. <laughs> My favorite Kmart moment happened a couple of years ago at the store on Federal and Evans here in southwest Denver. I watched a guy dressed in red jeans, cowboy boots, a cowboy hat, a dinner plate sized belt buckle, a shirt from the Saturday Night Fever set, speaking Spanish into a cell phone as his kid was riding the penny pony. God bless America. Let me just say this. Please don't shut down 326 Kmarts. Close them all for all I fucking care, all right? <laughs> we have enough indoor flea markets. I think we could do without Kmarts. Speaking of cowboy hats, a couple of months ago, my girlfriend Marla and her friends invited me to go with them to the National Western Stock Show and Rodeo. <laughs> Needless to say, <laughs> I politely declined. <laughs> The absolute last place on this planet I want to go is to the stock show and rodeo. I'd rather go to an old folks home and service bedridden blue hairs than attend this bullshit yearly affair. Yeah, I want to visit a place where the stench of animal feces stays with you for a week no matter how many times you shower. I can do... <laughs> I can do without stopping by the backwards ass hillbilly and his different sticker varieties of Calvin pissing on things booth. <laughs> I find it hilarious that our governor and mayor think that we should be lumped in the same major city class along with Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, and Philadelphia. Not to discourage your pipe dream fellas, but do you know what people in California do when they hear about our stock show? They laugh their tan BMW driving bottle water drinking asses off. I've been there, I know. To them, we're nothing but wannabe hip Jethro's with revolt cell phones sticking out of our holes. <laughs> and by the way, Marla and her four friends spent $105 on tickets, $9 for a Pepsi nacho combo, $9 for a beer pretzel combo, $4 for a program, and $10 to park. In case you can't add on the fly, that astonishing abacus figure comes to $137 for an event that lasted eight minutes. <laughs> but they did here. <laughs> okay. But they did get to hear a bitter, washed up Michael Martin Murphy butcher his own songs. So I guess that made it worth it. I suppose if I received free tickets, I wouldn't mind seeing the Mexican rodeo. How classic would it be watching the Mexican running around the ring before the rope gets thrown around his neck and he's hogtied? <laughs> Certainly you should have seen that punchline coming from a furlong away. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's that's all I got for now. Those are my miscellaneous takes, but then again, what the hell do I know? Yeah. yeah.
my guest tonight, my guest tonight was actually booked about an hour ago. <laughs> he is a legend, two legends in a row, hitting the cone zone. Would you help me welcome back to the show, Colorado's most controversial comedian, Robert Mater. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> wow. Where do we begin? <laughs> Run with it. It's all you. You're talking about cell phones. It is so funny because now cell phones have messages or machines on them. So let, let's get this straight. We all get houses, we all get phones for the house, but we don't, we don't want to be that accessible, so we get machines for those phones. So now we all have cell phones, we want to be more accessible. Now we get machines for the cell phones, we don't want to be accessible. Make up your mind, people. All right. Isn't that amazing? That's exactly right. That's and like, now they got, they got cell phones with cameras on them now. What the <laughs> hell do you need a camera on a cell phone for? To maybe click a, to click a picture of, your, of yourself? I mean, what do, you need a, what do you need a camera on a cell phone for? We're, we're at what? <laughs> Locker rooms? Okay. We got it. We got it. <laughs> we got a pervert in the crowd. All right. I like you. <laughs> Locker rooms, great. You ought to date somebody who has their own show. So, uh, uh, inside joke, it's okay. Uh, so, uh, what, what do you what do you think? Kmart's, you got to have a take on Kmart. They 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 sell crap. I mean, Walmart's Walmart's just got everything you need. You know, we actually were at Walmart the other day, and we we're in the line behind like five other people, and of course the same thing. The girl, the cashier is like 18. And one of her friends is in the line, and they're talking about how they're ha one's pregnant, and they're getting ready to have. And of course, they have their IQ of about 14. <laughs> Combined. Yeah, they're, yeah. And they were and they were talking about their cell phones. My cell phone's better than yours. Oh no, it's not. I gotta call Miss. Oh, so do I. I, I. I'm just sitting there going, this country is so fucked. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I, mean, I I left that place so just so distraught and so I was like, oh my god, we are screwed. We are screwed. I've been saying that so, on this show for three years that we're screwed. So I just bought a house in Montana this week. So. Did you? Nice. Yeah. But who cares? Good riddance. Yeah. I'm sure Walmart is probably just happy as shit about that. Yeah. You know. Oh, sure. Uh, so, I agree with that. Pen handlers, we talked about that before. We've I, talked about that many times on the show. That's why I, I wanted to put that to rest for the last time. Yeah, it's the same thing. I told you before, if Sam McCannison said it best, you can't make it in America, where are you going to go and make it? You right. Know, so, uh, they should do it, to, like you said, by running over like their speed bumps. The lady in, well, in Texas did that. She got away with that, right? She ran over her husband like three times. Yeah, well, the woman who ran over the, who hit the bum, and he was stuck in her windshield for like two days. <laughs> Texas also. <laughs> what does it take? That was the greatest story I've ever heard. But this the, woman was driving along, and she hit a bum, like plowed into him. He flipped onto her car, got stuck in her windshield. She went in and banged her boyfriend for two days, and said, well. And he died, right? Yeah, he died yeah. In, her, in her. <laughs> He's trying to get the, hit the windshield wiper fluid. Come on, goddammit. <laughs> 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 this the shit they put on the streets. You just can't get it off your windshields. <laughs> but the lady in, in, lady in Texas ran over her husband. With a kid in the car, ran over her husband three times. She said, she said it was an accident. Yeah. Three times. Over yeah. him, ba like back around, over him again, back around, over him again. <laughs> over the kid's dad. She Look. almost walked. Almost walked. Look at dear old dad laying in the middle. Yeah. 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 Talk, talk. I love you, honey. <laughs> yeah. you imagine? Can you imagine? With the kid in the car. <laughs> Mommy, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I can't imagine it. And she, almost, she almost walked. Yeah. If she would have walked, there would have been anarchy in this. <laughs> did she get sentenced? Or did, I'm not sure if they gave her like parole or. She got 20 years. Okay, so she she'll got get 20 out. years? She'll get out. After eating muff for about 10 years, she'll get out. But didn't she, didn't she get the, she, uh, her husband, yeah. <laughs> I know they had that kind of traction. <laughs> she had the star system. <laughs> husband. <laughs> husband, two kilometers on your right. <laughs> two kilometers, one kilometer, <laughs> ten yards, five yards. <laughs> Speed bump. <laughs> Unbelievable. Great, but wasn't he cheating on her or something? Oh, he, yeah, him? actually, he came out with his mistress. And that's when she <laughs> mowed him down. Oh, I tell you. What a great world we live in. It's, it's something, huh? What a great world we live in, I swear to God. 
A war. We're going through a war right yeah. now. By the time this airs, we like, we may have kicked their ass already, but as I of think, today, I think, March 27th, yeah, exactly. We're in a war. By the time this airs, it's going to be over. But I think Americans should be ashamed of themselves how they don't give our guys enough credit. I mean, these yeah. Iraqis, these guys don't even have uniforms. They don't have you know planes at all. <laughs> Eat fucking sand. <laughs> they don't have shoes. <laughs> you know. And next thing they're gonna give us a contest. It's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. They need to hit Iran after they hit yeah. Iraq. They need to drop a bomb on Paris on the way back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in London, England here in early June. So let's let's hold off on them. Oh, England, <laughs> England's, get... England's fighting with us. Yeah, they're on yeah. our side. But, but Paris it refuses to get involved in anything. You know, after all the business we get, all the money we give them, yeah. all the tourism we give them. Give us that cool statue. Yeah, it had to have been a gift. They yeah. can't send one guy over there to help us out, you know. Right. <laughs> well, we don't need their help. We don't need a bunch of Frenchies out there. We we got it under control. But I, I think we about. Got it. It. We got this. We got, it. We got, we got this. this. It's over. <laughs> By March 24th, there's gonna be just piles of dead Iranians, you know, or uh, Iraqis, Iraqis. wherever they are. It doesn't matter. They're all the same thing. They all smell bad. But. <laughs> <laughs> they all smell bad and drive cabs. I, I want to see. I want to see piles of dead people because that means my, my gas will be about, my gas will be about buck ten here in about a year. So I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm all about me. So how about how about these Nimrods in like San Francisco and Chicago yeah. that are killing each other? They're you know, killing they, they, they Americans they because we're going to war. They just don't have a life. Incredible. For, for all you protesters out there, let me confirm it for you right now. You're not making a fucking difference. So exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go out. Go out with your signs and parade up and down the streets with your signs. Nobody cares. Bush no. isn't watching CNN right now going, well, there's a group in San Francisco. Maybe we should call this off. It's, it's not going to happen. You're wasting your oh, breath the, the local kids, The local money. kids here actually, what, ditched today and they went and protested? And there's a guy on the radio said, you know, if, if, they, if, if Bush isn't going to listen to some of the biggest powers and celebrities in the world, he's not going to listen to a bunch of snot-nosed kids. Right. You know, so I'm behind the guy. I, you know, I think he's kind of a dork, and but you know, a lot of politicians are. But right, it, obviously he's going after for the oil. On a speech the other night, I was so funny. He's like, "Whatever you do, don't start the oil wells on fire. Whatever <laughs> you do, <laughs> don't start the oil wells on fire." Of course, what? Like 18 so hours later. Today, <laughs> yeah, yesterday, yeah. Yeah. 500, 500, 500 uh, barrels did they light up? Is that wasn't that the final number? So five. Five days from now, which the taste with the twenty second, it'll be over. It'll be done, yeah. It'll be over by the time. You know, it sucks. We have we have like twenty casualties. They're all self-induced. You know, the planes, our helicopters are going down. Our planes are crashing each other. It's like, come yeah. on, guys. You got Bobby Knight in the woods hunting, killing them. Yeah, so. Bad joke for Kelly. In the who wants back. to copy? The, who wants to copy the new CD? It's going. It's going like wildfire. Bob's oh my got God. CDs. Throw them Toss them. Chuck them. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Give him the corn there. Nice one. How is it? Uh, how is your CD going? Oh, like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have so much respect for musicians. That, you know, like, like Madonna was set like 500,000 in a week. Yeah. I put. I, okay, check this out. I put two on consignment, which is just basically for sale. I put two on consignment at Wax Tracks downtown. I put two on consignment at Twist and Shout downtown. With Logan and uh, Alameda. I put them on consignment for eight months. I didn't sell one copy. Wow. It's tough getting 10 bucks from somebody. Yeah. Unless you suck their crank. <laughs> <laughs> but put a coupon in there. <laughs> <laughs> buy this disc. <laughs> buy, buy this disc. I'll suck your crank. Yeah. There you go. Good. See, entrepreneurs. We got them all in the house tonight. Yeah, nine jobs, tenth, the tenth one I swallow or something. You know, like. <laughs> so it's, it's, I mean, it's. You're talking about you're releasing a DVD here, pretty soon. It's, yeah. it's very tough getting ten bucks from somebody. But I'm doing. I'm going the eBay route. Well, nobody anybody knows who you are. Well, <laughs> thanks, <Good>. Dick. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, <laughs> headlines. Uh, <laughs> what a shitty thing to say. An ass. Stock show. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, well, let's talk about the stock show. Let's get off me. Uh, stock show. <laughs> off me. Is this that. the worthless? Is this the worthless event? Most worthless event in this city? I haven't gone like in 20 years. Uh, I don't know. Marla wanted me to go, and I, I said, I said. I, lo I love watching not. the bull riders get gored and stuff. That's the way. That's good. Happened. That's good. Or watch these, watch these dumb hicks get trampled if yeah. they fall off the two-ton bull. That's cool. Yeah, you couldn't pay me enough. It's, it's funny hearing about the death once in a while. The guy that you know lost to the bull. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. 
That's good stuff. Yeah, well, anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? Not really. I might be doing another CD within the next year. Actually, all serious songs. I was hoping if someone here had acoustic guitar. I'd do a couple of songs for you, but we got an acoustic guitar. Serious. You guys got one in the house? No. Yeah, right here. <laughs> 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 so, if you're <laughs> so if you're still doing your show, here, probably like another you know, two or three, four months, I'll come out and do some serious songs. We'll get you on air. Yeah. We'll get you on air again. So we'll see. Uh, the, the comedy isn't working, so we'll have to... Are you, do are you doing any stand-up anywhere? No. I'm actually trying to get a routine together where it's half songs and half a stand-up act. But I was going to say, you know, what you ought to do is, you know, and I know a lot of guys, you know, you know like uh, the guys at Isle of Park Saloon, um, or some of the other ones help me out, uh, uh, Sports Field Rocks. They'd be to totally down with something like that. It'd be something original, something different. I, I mean, experiment with that because I want to try and do like the clubs like that. But it's tough to do stand-up comedy in a place where people are trying to get laid. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean seriously, pe I don't blame Not them. Not successfully. Either. I don't blame them either because you know you're, it's, it's your Saturday night. You're throwing back a few. You want to try and pound the the guy's wife to sit next to you. <laughs> and you're not gonna listen to a stand-up comedian and do a comedy. So it's very tough finding a crowd that really pays attention. Right. Yeah, you know, I think uh, Mercury Cafe does it. I, right. went, I went there once and actually saw people actually paying attention to them doing stuff. I couldn't believe, like, reading poetry or something like that. What about comedy works, things like that? No. They can suck. Oh, that's right. You got banned from the comedy <laughs> <works>. I forgot. <laughs> we saw Dennis Miller there. That was fun. We met Dennis Miller. That's right. All right. All right. We got one fan. <laughs> right, let's try that again. We met Carrot Top. <laughs> hey, we met Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We should have seen that coming from about a mile away. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Dennis Miller. We met Dennis Miller. Cool guy. Oh, yeah. Very shy. I couldn't believe how shy he was. <laughs> they got their own show going yeah. back there. Right? <laughs> don't, don't mind us. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. <laughs> all right. Well, cool. Color rolls look well, great. We filled the time. It was uh, all we needed. Good. Colorado's most controversial comedian, Robert Rattier. <laughs> Give it up. Now, go, go to Wax Tracks. Go to Wax Tracks. And no, it's go too late. To I took him off the consignment. Oh, then never mind. He just threw him out to the audience. Yeah, he, no, he, he just threw him out to the crowd. You can only put him on consignment for so long, and they, they take him and give him away. Oh, really? So actually, it's only, it's only six month allotments. I put on, I had him in there for like eight months, I forgot about him. I went back and got all four copies. Like, hey, I can't find one person for really? eight months to go in there. Oh, my <laughs> suck God. suck at it, don't I? <laughs> Crazy. Well, you figure, hell, just from this show, you'd get somebody. Eh, it's a tough gig. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, cool. If uh, we'll get into headlines, if you have a headline, uh, yeah, you know the address. <clears throat> you, can also, you can also email them to me now, cxacones at msn.com. Uh, if you want to email me, whatever, I'll, I'll get to them. My first headline, Bob from Denver, two straight weeks. This one is, and let me just say this, this is not my doing. <laughs> Bob from Denver, good luck getting the bullet holes out of your wall. <clears throat> Bob from Denver says, if I'm elected mayor, I promise you nig, um, nig, uh, black people a say so. <laughs> Do that again? Give Bob's address. <laughs> yeah. give, give it out on the, on the, the blue one. We got a, is he going to do that again? All right, we're going to do that one again. It, it went over so well the first time. Yeah. Bob from Denver says, uh, if I'm elected mayor, I promise to give you nig, um, nig, uh, black people, I say so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Bob, I thought it was funny. Yeah, not me. I have nothing to do with it. Thanks for not giving out the address. The, these are mine, right? These are mine right here. <clears throat> we'll see if I do any better. Reverend Paul von Lapkowitz was quoted after slamming his sixth Jack and Qu Coke. <laughs> Quote, it's none of your goddamn business if this is my wife or not. Here you go. You'll like this one. This is a good one. This is my little jab for uh, the network that declined my show and put the Osbournes on instead. M MTV execs assume the position on a new season of programming. <laughs> You're going to have to get a tight shot on this one. Like, because it's... 
<laughs> You're gonna have to get a tight shot. Can you get that in a, in a full frame? Yeah. This is a good one. I got two for this one. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> the first one is. Yeah, kids, don't look. <laughs> Queen Latifah's Playboy spread hasn't gone as well as she had hoped. <laughs> <laughs> or, or this back cover version from the new Oprah Winfrey book was rejected. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, you can have you can have that one. Uh, fourth grader. Oh my fourth god. grader. <laughs> fourth grader Brian Walsh makes it perfectly clear that it's his turn to swing on the swing set. <laughs> Here's another one you gotta get a tight shot of. I have two for this one. <laughs> going to hell so fast. <laughs> Mayor McCheese's wife, Sarah, is nothing but a dirty, cheating whore. <laughs> oh, or, <laughs> or stop by McDonald's, blow the carnival clown, make his head puff up, and win a, win a small cone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess next time Girl Scout Mandy Dillon will read the posted signs. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Okay, this was uh, <laughs> this was funnier before we got the snowstorm. <laughs> due to the due to the upcoming drought, Coloradans will be forced to bathe in bull semen. <laughs> this one is for Kelly Florendo. Indiana Pacer Ron Artest warns NBA officials not to call fouls on him, or else. Because he's got the guns at his side. <laughs> okay. Let me get. You, go, you guys don't. <laughs> don't don't look at the monitor. Trust me. Don't look. <laughs> this one's this one's bad. This one's bad. <laughs> okay. This one this one is really bad. And finally, here we see, here we see, maybe I don't have to read it. <laughs> here we see this month's centerfold in the new Hose of Iraq magazine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh Jesus, I'm in so much trouble it's not even funny. <laughs> That's the show on Colorado's most controversial comedian, Robert Mateer. <laughs> next week, next week, Crow Now Live. We'll talk to everybody soon. Wait.